Carney Hall welcoming you to Loudon, home of the New Hampshire International Speedway, for today's New England 300. Barney, the fans are packed in and ready for the action. What do you think about this track? This is a tough track for a lot of drivers. These long straights allow the cars to build up a lot of speed before some hard braking going into the flat corners. The 82 car is currently at the top of the points list. Well, the NASCAR Whistle Cup Trophy is what it's all about. But you can't get it if you don't consistently gain points. These guys know that, and they're working hard to try and increase their lead this week. Kyle Petty started racing in the Winston Cup Series back in 1979 at the age of 19. You know, there's a lot of pressure on drivers in NASCAR, and you've got to believe it's even heavier when your last name is Petty. So to come out and start banging fenders with these guys at age 19, you've got to admire that. Johnny Benson won the Bush Series Championship in 1995. That championship was sandwiched between two Rookie of the Year awards. He won the Bush Series Award in 1994, followed up his championship with Winston Cup Rookie Honors in 96. Welcome back to NASCAR Thunder 2003. Right now I'm about to do race 19 and 36. I'm here at the New Hampshire National Speedway here in Loudoun, New Hampshire for the run at the New England 300. 
and I, you see on the starting lineup, I start second. Second race in the row, I start on the outside row, and second race in the row with Jeff Gordon starts on the pole, so it's me and Jeff Gordon on the front row for the second race in the row. Um, after my fifth place finish at Chicagoland, I do have the points lead still, but only by 14 or 15 points. I can't remember, it's one of those numbers, but it's that close for the points lead right now. Um, Hope that New Hampshire is one of the tough racetracks to race on. The assist I have, remember when I made the new assist rule that I will have all the break on at New Hampshire? Well, that's the case. I do have all the break on for this race, but stability control off. So, uh, yeah. So, anyway, um, 30 laps here, and should be an interesting race. I'm on the outside row. Here we go. The green flag is out. We are underway here at Loudon, New Hampshire. That was stupid of me. So I took off from Jeff Gorin and immediately scraped the wall on the straightaway. What is wrong with me? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, someone's wrecked behind me. It was a red car, I don't know. I believe it was Jeremy Mayfield. It was either Jeremy Mayfield, Bill Elliott, or Dale Jr. It was, it's one of those drivers that started in the top 10. I know Jeremy Mayfield, Dale Jr. was in the top 10. I believe it was Jeremy Mayfield because there's no red car in third or fourth. Jeremy Mayfield started third. Or fourth, I should say. Oh gosh, yep, I'm sideways. Yeah, this is going to be one beast of a race too because you're going to be sideways all over the place. I'm trying to take the race lead away from Jeff Gorin. I, ha I didn't lead the first lap. I didn't lead the second lap. I'm still trying to lead the lap. Watch. You'll see going into turn three, there's tire marks. Tire marks. Watch the outside. Right. Ah, uh, you can't see it. Right. Well, they were back there against the wall instead. Now, I will guarantee you, I will start getting sideways once my tires starting to warn. Tires. My tears. Oh yeah, this car feels like it wants to go sideways on me right now. It doesn't look like it, but uh, it feels like it. Oh yeah! Oh, save it. I say, uh oh, oh, I'm in the outside wall. That wasn't good. Comes Jeff going to the inside of me. Oh my gosh, please save it. Oh my fucking god, that was close. That was close. Whoa, Dale Jarrett. Oh my gosh, and that shoved Jeff going up the racetrack, and I was there too. Dale Jarrett just made a dive bomb move. Oh, look at that with the crossover move on Jeff Gordon. And got the run off turn four as well. Looks like it's a three-car breakaway right now. Me, Dale Jarrett, and Jeff Gordon. I do take back the race lead. I did get five bonus points for leading lap. Unfortunately, Dale Jarrett as well did get five bonus points. Dale Jarrett came into this race third in points, 75 points back. I know for sure. Oh, come on! Oh, damn, 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 hold it. Oh, my, oh, my God. I saved it. They saved me. Dale Jarrett and Jeff Gordon saved me. Thank you, Lord. That was... Oh, I was completely spinning out. Like, there was no way in hell I saved that. How much damage do I have in the front? Yeah, but I do have some significant damage. Not anything that would drop debris on the track, but, uh... And that helped uh, the rest of the field catch back up. Oh, please, car! Oh, yeah, I'm going up the racetrack. Here's Dale and our junior. So, top three in the point standings are first, third, and fourth. Point leader, me, is in fourth. Oh, my God. I, uh, oh, come on now. Oh, yeah, this is where the race is going to start getting interesting because the tire wear. I already have tire wear, it told me. Wow, I just barely jumped on the throttle and that happened. 
Alright. Uh, this is not gonna be good. I may wanna. Uh oh. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Stop. Stop going sideways, please. Stop going sideways! Back up to third. Man, if Dale Jr. finishes ahead of me, he's gonna be more up in points. Oh, no! Oh, if he finishes ahead of me right here. He didn't leave the lap. So basically, if he finishes in front of me, like maybe third and I finish fourth, he's gonna have a. I'm still gonna be up by 14 points because I did get the five bonus points for leading a lap! Well, that's unfortunate. Damn it! Damn it! I, I thought I was. Uh, you know what? Literally, I thought I was going to spin out sooner or later. It was bound to happen. Now, would these guys pit? Oh, it may be a long day for me. Now, would these guys pit? If they pit, I'll go with them. Wow, I'm in 40 seconds. Oh, this is Casey Atwood behind me. I can't tell if they're pitting. Oh, yep, they're pitting. So that means I'm going to pit as well. And hopefully, maybe get myself back up to the front. Alright, I'm going to pit with them. Uh, I'm going to take four tires because, yeah, that may be a good option for this track. Holy sh- what the hell? What the- what is- what happened here? Wow, and I wasn't going to repair my damage too late now. What in the absolute dong nugget happened? This, it's still, people are still wrecking up here. Oh my god, what, wow, wow, what, all right. Oh my gosh, Greg Biffle just went on top of Jeff Purvis in the 37 car, the 16 car. Oh my god, can I please get on to my pit box? It took a minute to get to my pit box. Well... I, okay, so I wasn't going to repair my damage because it wasn't that bad. But now, look at my rear. It's bad enough now. Nothing happened to, to my front, but the rear now is clobbered. There was no rear... Well, there was rear damage, but not as much as this. 43rd. Son of a bitch. Alright. Back racing with uh, 17 to go. So hopefully I don't spin out again. Let's see how many spots I can gain. Oh my god, these guys are checking up! Fuck these guys. I don't like being back here because uh, there's AI drivers that likes to slow down a lot. Oh my god, my hood damage. It's gonna be a long day for me. Long race for me. I did gain one spot. You know what? My hood may be wobbly a bit. If it, if it falls off, a caution comes out for debris. So can we have can we have can we finish this race in peace and not have like pit road incidents? Like there was a pit road crash. That's the first time that's happened this season. up to 40th so 15 laps to go this is not gonna be good for me if I finish back here because I'm gonna be finishing behind Dale Jr. And Dale Jarrett They're, one of them is gonna both of them may pass me in the point standings if I don't start getting up there now which I'm trying to now but I'm also trying not to spin out my car like that 14 to go Please stop getting sideways. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 oh. Stop, stop, stop. Getting sideways, please. 
I'm trying to gain as many spots as I can before this race ends. 13 to go. If I keep up this pace, I may get up to the top 20, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get a win. Okay! I was underneath you. Obviously, you did not see a light blue car underneath you. Come straight down into me. Put me down the apron. That's uncalled for. Of course, it's the 63 car that always finishes in the back. Just so screw me. Yeah, this Jimmy Mayfield, he was involved in the lap one incident. No caution came out for that, though. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Jimmy Mayfield just... Oh, and I hit the inside wall because I, I panicked. When I, I heard Jeremy Mayfield go in the wall and I panicked to that because I thought Jeremy Mayfield was going to come back down into me. So I had to turn the car more to the left to not get hit. I didn't get hit. Oh, someone's blowing him up. Oh, there's a wreck up here. Slow it down, slow it down. Who, someone's upside down over here. That's Dale Jarrett. Oh, and he just wrecked. Now the whole field behind me is starting to wreck. Dale Jarrett went upside down, I believe. It looked like he did. So Caution's out with 10 laps to go. And I think he's out of the race. Oh, he did go upside down. Well, well on his side. Now, he gets bit back going here. Oh, he blew an engine. I guess someone... Oh, wow! And Ricky Rudd went airborne. Now, I wonder if Dale Jarrett's out of this race. Boom! He got hit right there. I believe he's out of this race. Uh, not going to pit. Halfway on fuel, I don't think we have a problem with that. Seven laps to go. So that's going to hurt Dale Jarrett in the point stage. That means it's going to be me and Dale Nard Jr. for the points lead. Seven to go, though. I think, I think what depends on where I finish, where, which may be back here. Dale Nard Jr. may become the new points lead. Remember, at one point, I had a 155-point lead. Remember that? And that was when, uh, that was... After, uh, that was after Dover and everything. No. Ever since ever since I won Richmond, I haven't won since Richmond, and that was race 11. It's been eight races since I won a race. I've been on a slump. Like, after I won Richmond, I wrecked that Charlotte, and then I wrecked that Dover. Then really wrecked... Oh, shit! No! Oh, no! Are you kidding me? Speaking of wrecking, yep, there goes the slump again. Oh my god. That is unbelievable what just happened to me. Damn it! I'm having a Pocono race. And I'm having a Las Vegas race again. Remember Las Vegas, how bad that race was for me? That's exactly what's happened to me again. I, I might as well pit to get fresher tires. These guys are not going to get fresh tires. I'm going to have to freshen tires and everyone. So I believe Dale Jarrett's out of this race. Yeah, because Dale Jarrett would have been back here. I don't see him. So Dale Jarrett, that came into this race third in the points, is out of this race. All right, so I'm going to pit for fresh tires, obviously. Uh, yeah, I might as well... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I might as well take the time to be in here to fix some of the damage. Since I'm going to be back here anyway, why not, right? But I'm not going to have many laps left. I believe I'm only going to have two laps. And if I wreck again, or a caution comes out again, the race is over. <sighs> it's just been one of those races for me. And you know, after finish, you know, I had a 16, uh, uh, 18th place finish at Sonoma. Uh, sixth place finish at Daytona, fifth place finish at Chicagoland. I don't know where in the hell I'm going to finish here. All right, I'm going to go immediately. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. These guys are slow. Two laps to go. All right, I'm going to push it as hard as I can to get as many. Uh oh, not like that. Don't push it that much, Joseph. 
All right, get out of my way. Look how fast I'm going with these fresh tires. Oh, man. And next race is going to be Pocono. Damn it. Remember that the previous... Oh, shit. Well, remember the previous Pocono race where I finished 42nd in that race? Yeah. So Pocono again. White flag is out. Final lap. I don't know who's the leader, to be honest. Oh, out of my way. This is base. Oh, shit! I didn't mean to get into Elliot Sadler like that. This is basically where I was before I spun. Almost looked like I never lost anything. All right, here we come to the checker flag. 21st. Oh, maybe 20th? No, shit! No! Piss! I could have gotten a 20th place finish, but I got sideways off the corner. So I went from 42nd to 21st, so I gained 21 spots. Dale Knight Jr. wins the New England 300. The race came down to the wire with a very close finish. You know you've seen a great race when it gets to the last lap and you still have no idea who's going to win. This is Joe Moore for Barney Hall saying thanks for joining us for today's NASCAR Winston Cup race. Next up is Pocono. Pass. Pocono's next. I finished 42nd there last time. All right, so I gained 21 spots in the final two laps. I was like the Kyle Busch of the Nationwide Series when he gains 20 spots in two laps. Uh, unfortunately, not where I wanted to finish after a good start, or a good first half of the race, or first 10 laps. Unfortunately, I did not want Dale Knight Jr. to win this race because he's going to, obviously, Dale Knight Jr. is going to become the new points leader. I'll still be second in points. So, Dale Knight Jr. wins, Tony Stewart second, Ryan Newman third, Robbie, uh, Rusty Wallace fourth, Robbie Gordon fifth, Matt Kenseth 19th, Steve Park 20th, I finish 21st, Casey Kane 22nd, John Andre 23rd. That, uh, what a, t gosh. I was expecting high hopes for this race. You know, but New Hampshire has never been one of my best racetracks, even on any NASCAR game. NASCAR game, uh, New Hampshire is not one of my best racetracks. So, there you go. Um, I came into this race with a 15 point lead over Dale Knight Jr. I now have a, s now Dale Knight Jr. has become the new points leader. By 65 points over me. Jimmy Johnson, 30 points, 152 back. Tony Stewart, 40 points, 173 back. Rusty Wallace, 5th in points, 19 back. And Dale Jarrett, that came into the New Hampshire race, 3rd in the point standings. After he finished 43rd, after going on his side at New Hampshire and falling out of the race, he is now 6, 210 points back. And Bobby O'Brien rounds up the top 10 points, 359 back. Well, the next race is going to be at Pocono, and I believe for the Pocono race, I'm going to have both assist on stability and auto brake on. So anyway, I'll see you guys at the Tricky Triangle.